So here at Parker Hill today, we're investigating the effects of tree condition on bird usage of those trees. So students have um, equipped themselves with field guides and binoculars. They're essentially doing a fixed point survey around a tree uh, and they're looking over a 30 minute period to measure the rate at which birds use that tree and they're collecting information also about the condition and species of that tree. So we're looking for a correlation between bird usage, bird assemblage uh, and condition of those trees. Students have divided the 30 minute period into one minute blocks and in each of those one minute blocks they're recording which species occur in the tree, whereabouts in the tree they occur, so whether it's the canopy, the trunk, or the understory and what they're doing in those trees. This will enable us to derive a measure of overall tree usage across a whole range of different species of trees and tree conditions. So the bird survey technique is all about uh, looking at specific trees and trying to understand how the condition of that tree actually influences the use of that tree by birds. There's uh, a variety of processes in the Otways area that have the potential to degrade tree condition but a prominent one of these is overbrowsing by a very abundant population of koalas. So we're very interested in the koala management issue but we're also interested in what koalas mean for tree condition and what they mean for other species that might want to use those trees. Uh, prominent among these are woodland birds. Uh, so we're actually conducting these tree surveys to get an index of the degree to which woodland birds use trees in different condition so that we can have some sort of insight into what management of that tree condition might mean for the bird fauna of the Otways.